Good morning, New Hope Presbytery. It is a joy to be with you this morning at our February 2022 uh, Presbytery meeting. In this report, I wanted to update you on what we have been up to since our last Presbytery meeting in 2021. So this morning, there are four important updates that I am able to report to you this morning. First is that back in December, we had a staff appreciation and lunch. At that time, we were able to provide each of our staff with Christmas bonuses, and we were certain to thank them for their work during this time of transition. It is because of your generosity and the generosity of your congregations that we were able to provide this bonus to our staff. I also want to take just a moment to invite you to continue to pray for our staff and to continue to thank our staff for the work that they are doing. For those of you, which I think is pretty much all of us who have ever been through a time of transition in a congregation, we know that oftentimes these transitions fall heavily upon our staff. And we do have a gifted and talented staff. And so please continue to pray for them and even go out of your way to thank each and all of them for the work and the faithfulness that they do. The second thing I wanted to share with you is that we have completed an update to our manual of operations. And I know for many of us that does not sound like an exciting thing, but typically what happens in a time of transition is we begin to ask questions about why we're doing what we're doing, why we have permission to do what we're doing, and, and maybe what on earth we should be doing in the first place. And so we did some updating to our manual of operations. We are approving a final draft of that in the near future, and we will share that when completed. The third thing that we have been doing is working on the role of liaisons. We have been gaining some clarity on that. And essentially, we want to make sure that our liaisons effectively support all of our staff in the office environment and work in a way that is supportive of all of the ministries. We want to make sure our liaisons are a help and not a hindrance in any of that. The fourth thing that I want to share with you is that in light of the ongoing work with the Holy Cow Assessment, your personnel committee is awaiting recommendations from the coordinating body and strategy regarding the structure and the role of the executive presbyter and the stated clerk position or positions. Uh, we have heard the summary report and uh, look forward to the recommendations that they offer in order that we can continue to uh, move this process forward. Uh, that concludes my report, except for simply reminding you or stating that it is a privilege to serve this staff and this presbytery. You have an incredible, talented, and even called personnel committee. You have the right team in place um, to serve at this time, and I am thankful for each and all of them. I remain available to answer any questions that you might have. Please feel free to reach out to me, and um, thank you again for the privilege of serving, and I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you.